Hello, this is Vicar Dave from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church with your encouraging word of the day. It may seem contradictory to be encouraged by the history of those martyred for their faith in the Savior Jesus. But if we are honest with ourselves and committed to our own faith, these stories, though graphic, even when described in vague terms, should encourage us. These are examples of the kind of Christian I want to be, the kind of Christian I hope and pray you can all aspire to be. Stephen was one of seven, chosen by the twelve to serve tables. He is also the first Christian to be martyred. You can read the account of his ministry and death in the book of Acts, chapters 6 and 7. As Stephen was being stoned to death for his preaching the gospel, his service in feeding widows, orphans, and the homeless, he was rushed outside of the city gates, pushed to the ground. He looked up and cried out, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. With these words, rocks and stones came raining down. But Stephen continued in faith with his final words, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Lord, do not hold this sin against them. In a world increasingly distant from God's truth, we may stand alone in body as we profess our faith, but we will not be alone. We are never alone. Our life in this body and in this world will end, and yet our spirit, who we truly are in God, will live on forever. Let us pray. Father in heaven, though the world rises up against your word and your commands for us, I pray that you will give me strength, confidence, and resolve to be obedient to your truth, even unto death. Amen. May the peace of God give you rest this evening.